Funny enough, I am a big Star Wars fan. Hello, everyone. We also have another friend here. Yo. I'm less of a big Star Wars fan. I enjoy it, but I don't get in-depth into it. Yeah. Everyone agrees that Clone Wars is the greatest Star Wars show. There is no better one. If you're wrong, or I guess if you have a difference of opinion, you're still wrong. Anyway. The Battle of Hoth is hopefully an event that needs no introduction. It, it was really a shouldn't. Engagement between the Galactic Empire and it the Rebellion shouldn't. after the discovery of If the you Rebel need an introduction of Hoth, then you probably don't know Star Wars very well. But then again, that might it's be any. Very long. I joke. But then again, that might be most anyone from Disney Star Wars. They're like, what is Star Wars? Is it something I can put my own thing into? We say no. And then they do it anyway. The sequel trilogy sucks, and it's hard to have discourse on why it's bad because of all the bad faith discourse about why it's bad. Well, it's not really bad faith discourse. I know quite a few people that actually give it good criticism. They just get shouted out yeah, by the people. Issue is. It, uh, it's less that they get shouted out by the bad people with the bad faith discord. It's more of the people that are just saying, oh, so you're just this then. And they're like, no, I just, the movie wasn't good. The movie wasn't good. The issue is a lot of the well, of the accurate um, criticism tends to get drowned out by that one, well, by those weirdos who fucking re-edited it to take out all female characters doing anything important. What the hell? Okay, that's that just happened. goofy. Anyway, well, what else was it, I going to say? I was going to say cringe. Some guy spent like days, weeks do well. We'll throw in a fucking sexist tan temper tantrum. I have no I idea what Mark that's Hedl about. At him. That sounds about right. I don't know what Mark Hamill's doing now, but yeah. What was I going to say? Um, not being Luke or the Joker anymore, mostly. Yeah, those are his two biggest roles. Man's old. Yeah, Man but to, uh... it, he basically said he's never going to do Joker again because you know who died. Kevin Conroy. That's fair. Yeah, because he, to him, he was his other half for the... Well, you know. Yeah. Yeah. He's hidden on the planet. But yeah. Also, also like the Acolyte and a bunch of the other projects, yes, they stink. Kathleen Kennedy, they stink. Just stop having fights with the fans. You're not going to get that big win. You don't know what you're doing. Remember, she's the person that made it so that the part of Disney World that was Star Wars was going to be their new trilogy. That's why it looks like a I discount Tatooine. I wanted to throw a also, I think that Ray movie is dead. While, and it has finally happened. We are also going to be playing as the Empire for this because I think AT-ATs are cool and we are tasked with destroying dude. secondary shield yeah. generators hidden in offset Most people did. This event went fantastically, but I also must it's give just, this warning. The end of the they, I didn't think anyone could kill Star Wars, but somehow she found a way. She and the rest of Disney found a way to kill Star Wars. One of the things, franchises that people viewed as unkillable. Which is weird, given they also gave Marvel new life. It, they didn't really give it new life in so much that they bought it and just let the people keep doing until the end. Because Iron Man was going on before that, and so were a bunch this of other ideas. This might not be canon to Star Wars lore, because something occurs that I don't want to spoil. It is one of uh, the better moments we've had, though. I so do like this. I know the Snow Troopers, though. I hope you enjoy the Empire's Assault yeah. on the ice planet of Hoth, and I will see you around. I will say, I cannot take any fighter craft design seriously in Star Wars, because they're all really bad. Well, yeah, did you know that the Typhar actually doesn't have a life support system? That's why you see all the tubes coming off of the soldiers driving them. Exactly! The Typhar is literally made just to be let so as many people. It's literally just meant to be let out there to attack and probably die. Oh yeah, my bad. I understand the chief respect. Why the hell is there no canopy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you look through all the garbage on the map, right below it, it's behind good. them. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I, I do like the. Like the him. 
right now. S or er, RTR RT, 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 ATATs. I don't know why I said RTRTs. <laughs> <laughs> I also question I why, <laughs> why the R2, why <laughs> astromech droids speak in binary. I don't know. Because that, that, that's what you fucking want from the guy giving you, um, giving you, well, what's the word? Uh, diagnostics on the state of your ship. Chirps anyway. and whistles. Anyway, Walt Disney is slowly trying to squeeze whatever juice they can out of the living corpse of Star Wars. We'll go on with this. <laughs> Dude, that's the death trooper I know. We are in <laughs> an endless liminal void. Right yeah, I, how can you see anything? It's firing back. Yeah. It's, fire, it's winning, oh. actually. <laughs> also, everything just has front end. I think that's why the ATT actually is one of the few more oh, we just lost another most functional. Yeah. It has guns in more than well than front. Yeah, the ATAT is mostly the idea of having a heavily armored weapon slowly move towards you because the one of the best things ever created that can move forward in snow and rough terrain is legs. Oh man. Yeah, we can fly. What? You don't have any clothes on. You are going to freeze to death. Mm. You could just make yeah. cover. Why did he explode? What the oh. fuck? Oh, I don't know why he exploded. Why did he explode? I don't know. Schedule. Uh, is that a blast speeder? Holy oh, God, I don't know. Like uh, run. You fucking suck at bombing. <laughs> <laughs> it's Lord Edgar that I don't aim. Bomb. Does anyone What's have an AT? What's on the bridge? I have no idea, but apparently... What's Arma 3? The oh, the Arma 3? Arma 3 is a uh, soldier, basically, simulator that people put a lot of mods in. It's basically, it can simulate a lot of things like wounded soldiers so that you can, you know, bandage them and treat them. It's quite literally a soldier simulator is the best way I can put it. I see. I did, I'm surprised you didn't know it. I don't know these things. Well, now I you see. do. And knowing you is half the battle. I'm I stupid. I'm the dumbest fuck to ever live, except for the people who are dumber. Mm. There's a turret oh. right there killing all of our guys. <laughs> do something. Yeah, do that. Oh. Or do use the walker. Rebel defense line to keep the offensive going. We have a schedule to keep. Right away, sir. Hold the end line. Yeah, right away, sir. Hold the Sometimes the mods. What the? Sometimes the mods don't really work. Oh, fuck is oh, that? Yeah, oh. fuck the sketch. <laughs> it learned to fly! Yeah, Armor 3 has a lot of bugs where sometimes it'll just send vehicles launching. This will negatively good. affect the schedule. Good, 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 good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what is this? What the hell? <laughs> what is happening? That is oh. the most nimble AT-AT AT I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, what the hell? Yeah. This is kind of peaceful. Uh, I guess. With the TIE fighter, TIE bombers flying over. Tango Light is kind of cool seeing these things walk next to me, man. I hope they don't Walkers stomp on me, though. See the gun yes. to the west. Why if it uh, bomber pilots begin preliminary bombardment of the canyon village? Probably. <laughs> oh. What the world's going on over here? Uh, they're just messing with the. Oh. <laughs> what the hell did they do? They just had two speeders right next to each other. Oh wow. Uh, yeah, oh, the game kind of, yeah. Uh, uh, commanding? You made a fire. Because <laughs> it's cold. Okay, commanding. Hey, is there, there's a person buried under the snow over here, man? Uh, oh, might want to help him. Uh, <laughs> I, how did I get down here? Where the fuck am I? I assume this is inside the base. 
They're just the village is just covered in snow. Oh! Welcome to the secret tunnel. What the hell? We're dying down here in the ice village. Nice. Oh. See if you can block blaster bolts. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Just try to not stop it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> he actually shot it right out that way. Oh my god. Texas, the Mole Man Adventures are nearly complete. We are exiting the cave. The Mole Man Adventures. Oh! oh. oh look out, it's gonna land on you? <laughs> That's the question. What is the question? How tall am I? Oh, a bit more than six foot. Why? It's throw short people, man. Oh no, I'm not sure in the slice. I was having fun trying the short people because I know a bunch of short people. Yeah, I'm, I'm also a bit over six foot, and I'm wondering if I'm slightly more over six foot than you are, therefore making me short. No, because I'm six foot two. I'm also six foot two. Shit! Don't worry, I'll make sure I toss you because you're clearly shorter. <laughs> Why you wanted the, like, battlefront? Jumpy troopers. Oh, we don't use he's doing the shock trooper. My bad. <laughs> oh my God. Holy shit! They're dark troopers. Yeah, those. Fun fact: those... they because Star Wars isn't allowed to have mistakes. It's there. It is now retcon that the ones in Battlefront One are uh, are a um. Give me a second to think. That. The Dark Troopers in Battlefront 1 are cyborgs, despite the fact that they're all supposed to be droids. What? So, Dark Troopers came in three variants of droids, Phase 1, Phase 2, and Phase 3. But then they retconned the ones in Battlefront 1 to be um, cyborgs that are Phase 0 because they, uh, they have grunts of pain as sound effects. And they die if you, go, if you try and go off the edge of maps into water. Because Star Wars isn't allowed to just have mistakes. That's, uh... That's very weird. It's Star Wars. The same reason we have, like, retcons about astromech droids. Because those are... Because Luke calls that one R2 unit... Well, R5 unit that explodes in Episode 4. Like, he says, Oh, this R2 unit has a bad motivator. When it's an R5 unit and uh, suddenly they're like oh well it's actually an R2 unit that just uses the shell of an R5 unit okay this is a bunch of craziness but yeah yeah no just 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 let oh, it is okay to have mistakes Star Wars writers funny enough I did once read a Star Wars book it was about Boba Fett trying to kill Grievous he did not do very good because he was a kid yeah, you had about as much luck against Ace Window. Hmm. I mean, yeah, in the Star Wars Clone Wars, he did try to kill Mace Window, which makes sense. Oh! Also, I do remember the Orc Troopers, and they were cool in Battlefront 2. Goodbye. Though they weren't that useful. <laughs> Maybe. What? What the fuck? Oh! My god. Split come promptulous. The gunners are insane. The gunners are insane. Three Y wings. Kill that. Kill that. Yeah, yeah. I do like three Y wings, one for a long. I'm like 90% sure that this thing only exists in the toy line. Uh the Y wing. We're getting brought into cannon. The Y Wing? No, the troop transport they're sitting in. Probably. Oh, Either that or it's something from Legends so someone down. brought in. Yeah, but it was worth it. It was just a bear thing for a second. Oh, the ATVATs are just murdering whatever is in that general direction. Oh. <laughs> there goes Brexa. Oh. He's fine. Cause that hey, thing's just a box with this. sleeves a... to stick your toys in. More or less. Kaz on the left side. It's disorienting as a driver because Holy I'm hell. around the turret and in first person I just have to like Oh, look they're at the back behind the seats. That's so weird. 
More or less. Yeah, no, you can't see shit out of this thing. Well, that's because they're literally, part of them are back across oh, the seat. They're not even... Fine. They're not even in the seats, okay. really. This is the first Holy appearance shit. of the Imperial Troop Train. Is that a pilot? Is that a dude? Oh. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, wow, it is a toy. Is that a forklift? Give you it a is a toy to that came with a little packing comic. Exclusive That is strange. Funny enough, the main reason George Lucas was able to make some money off the toys and get all those toys is because Fox didn't think that uh, Star Wars would take off, so they gave him all the toy rights. Dumbass. What is Death Squad Commander? I'm, I'm looking at the Star Wars merchandise. Oh, that's less impressive than I thought it'd be. Yeah, some of the newer stuff isn't that great. No, no, I'm looking at a 1977 toy. Let me see this. Death Squadron. De Death Squad Commander. It's uh, it's it's one of the guys wearing a bull on his head manning the Death Star. Yeah, but he's black this time instead of gray. Or whatever color. No, no, he's still gray. What? That's weird. I know. I have this toy. Because my little brother bought it, we'll bought a bunch of old Jenner figures as well as the carbon freezing chamber. Uh, <laughs> side note, um... Into the breeze! The yeah. carbon freezing chamber is cool as shit. Huh. Just keep pushing, we have enough men! Like, uh, Just keep pushing into the machine guns! They came with a carbonite the block, way. and rather than the usual <laughs> sculpted Han Solo, it had, well, it had stretchy fabric so you could stick anyone inside. Huh. We must move forward for the Empire. For the Empire. Keep going! <laughs> the run out bullets before we run out of bodies. For the Empire. I think that's a. Okay, that's just. Enforcer tanks are adorable. Enforcer tanks? Oh! Enforcer tanks. Uh -huh. My local comic store has, well, has this whole show. Holy shit. Uh, the Death Star Space Station playset. Oh. It's just, it's, it's just four goes. floors He's stacked dying. on top of each other who look like Death Star. Holy shit. Shit. You know what, that's pretty damn cool. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if this um, bridge is rated for at, at I don't think the at, -AT can make their way across there. Hey Cypher, how you doing? That's not what Land of the Jawas is just that's a sorry. fucking cardboard and I'm standing forward. <laughs> That's not what a Death Trooper would say. Yeah, it's bad. I'm calling it Mega Yeah, these guys remind me more of Hell Divers than not Storm Troopers. I can load the Mega Bomb. Outside of survivability. What the hell is a Mega Bomb? What is the Mega Bomb cipher? That's IS. What? No, though, it sounds important. Mega Bomb's been loaded. Stand by. What the hell is going to happen with this right. mega bomb? <laughs> I don't. Oh, that big ass pillar in the middle of this goddamn thing. He advised the rebels oh. deploying. Uh, I find the early bird section. Oh, I mean, what the fuck? What the hell? <laughs> What'd you say? I find the early bird set genuinely fascinating. I find the early bird set genuinely fascinating. Do you know what that is? No, what is the early bird set? It's an empty box. It's an empty box sold for uh, for Christmas in 1977. Huh. With a painted, it, well, you open it up and it's a display stand for the first 12 figures, and a certificate to get those 12 figures when they when they come out. And because it's made of cardboard, and most kids tore them apart Christmas morning trying to find the actual toys. They're hmm. really rare. Huh. <laughs> okay, they're firing the mega bomb. Is that the mega bomb? I'm sorry, I'm blinking a lot, but my eye is a bit. I'm rubbing my eye a bit. Yeah, with my big paws. It's kind of hard to do that with big paws. Oh my god! Event Horizon.
Okay, no, you only got you only got four figures um, in the original book, the early bird set. Oh no! Oh, oh, no. oh, oh they god. destroyed everything! Oh my god! You know, the Mega Bomb's damage is it's to the processor. Yeah, it seems to destroy everything. The computer is dead. Well, everything's dead. <laughs> well, yeah, no, if you pre ordered, you got Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, R2 D2, and, well, and Chewbacca. Hmm. <laughs> Got sent to another world. <laughs> Where am I? Oh no. <laughs> oh, what the oh, hell? No. <laughs> no. It's hanging on. <laughs> rebels blew out the bridge. You're gonna have to take us. The up. rebels totally blew out the bridge. Scorched totally the rebels. I think that was the worst. Definitely the rebels. Death carrying uh. in this history. <laughs> I did not want to deploy the mega bomb. I deployed. I got the orders. I deployed the mega bomb. Did not deploy the mega bomb. <laughs> Some people were sent off the map by <laughs> <laughs> They were badgers because of it. <laughs> what the hell? They're dead. They're dead. They're dead? Oh my god. They're just fucking dead. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, it's in the floor now. Utterly tragic. Utterly tragic. Oh, don't. But yeah, I like talking about Star Wars every once in a while. Not Disney Star Wars, because everything except like a f like small tiny bits of it are trash. Things okay, you're a Star Wars fan, the what's the name of the, of the fucking uh, medical droid from Empire Strikes Back? The medical droid? What's Is his it... name? They gave him a name? They, Of course he is. Kenner made a toy of him. He has a name. It's because they put on a toy does not mean it's... it's... Oh my god. Where do you think Four Lom's name came from? <sighs> anyway, I was about to say a thing, but you made me forget it. There's a thing about Star Wars. And how the only real Big good man. part of the old... Of Rogue One. Well, besides the designs of the Sand Troopers and a few moments at the end. The only really good part was the part with Darth Vader. Uh, in the yeah. Comedy, the final, the final at the same time, I always felt that he was trying a bit too division. hard. He wasn't really, because he's just facing a bunch of nobodies. It's to show how deadly someone like Darth uh -oh. Vader is. Uh -oh. He is facing a bunch of nobodies. Oh. He shouldn't Goodbye, be engaging them for light There he goes. He, he just be casually watching some of his guns down, hell. maybe oh choke out a bitch here Look at all of our bodies down there from the mega bomb attack. Oh. They are not worth with By the way, no. have you actually oh, seen the Darth Vader <laughs> comics? Jesus. Which ones? I'm sure there have been multiple. Uh, they're surprisingly good. Uh, they basically go over the fact of how, why Darth Vader, because he can't be redeemed yet, so he just has to deal with, it's basically a man who's quite literally in a hell of his own making, that's really trying to cling to anything. It's extremely sad. Because you know he's not going to get anything he wants. Oh, and they... yeah, no. He is doomed by canon and the narrative. There is actually one funny part where they... There was a comic for, uh... It was for when they found, like, pieces of C-3PO. And it made, uh, like, an Imperial officer is talking to Darth Vader. And says, Sir, what should we do with the droid? Should we dismantle it? And he just goes back to a memory of with his mother when he was talking about making that droid. And he said, Annie... Whatever, whatever you make, whatever truly becomes yours, is part of you. And he just lays the head of the dro of C-3PO against his head for a second. In fairness, yeah, yeah, that's, uh, let me see if I can find it. Th that tracks, because, uh, yeah. That's the only time those two interact in the entirety of the original trilogy. That is the only time they're well, they are remotely close to each other. Okay, where is it? Uh, 
Yeah, here it is. Uh, I can't get a closer look at it, but... Let me see if I can... There we go. Just remember you ever that... wonder if what... Uh, here it is. Just remember that droid is your responsibility unless you're prepared for care for something. And yeah, they're just asking if they should search the memory or rather have the thing dismantled. And you just see them... You ever... Wait... It wasn't the last time he, he saw a C-3PO yeah. half-built? Uh, no. He was fully built uh, during part three. Oh. Yeah, sorry I didn't show everyone here, but I was going to be locking the way, but yeah. Um, the jo okay, yeah, so what does he say? what's going through his head. Like, not just as the thought, but rather than just, just the beat of... Wait, what the fuck is he doing here? Has he well, my son listen to... How high ranked is he? How? What? He's more of... CP3O is more of him just having flashbacks to his childhood because quite literally he built him. Let's see what he says I here. have questions for how we wound up here. The droid... The droid parts carry the stench of Captain Solo's co-pilot. Co Deliver the box to the Wookiee's cell. Uh, forgive me, sir. I don't understand. Do you want the prisoner to have the droid? I'm giving the Wookiee what he deserves. Of course, my Lord Vader. Because you don't question Lord Vader. You don't. Everyone that does usually doesn't live very long. Okay, let's... Oh, it got deleted. Wonderful. I was trying to look at that. But yeah, it's a... It's a really right. touching scene. You ever played Force Unleashed? Yes. I love that game. It's a very fun game. There's just one thing that always bothered me about it. What? The dark side ending makes no goddamn sense. Well, yeah, of course it doesn't. Like, it, it... Palpatine kills everyone you love and throws a spaceship at you, and and, and now you work for, with, for him for some... Why? Why? The Dark Side's ending was never supposed to make any sense. It's quite literally an alternate ending. I mean, yeah, but... They still try to build off it. There still needs to be some logical sequence of events here. You gave in to your hatred and everyone's dead. Yes, I believe that. But... I I'm not crazy for just wa wondering how you get from there to oh you're the new Darth Vader it's a uh, how the fuck are you the new Darth Vader Vader Starkiller hates him well quite literally you know it's alternate ending they weren't really trying that hard with it but yeah thank you all so much and we'll see you later